Yo, people, what's up, man? This is your boxing genius from SBNboxing.com. Coming at you again, man. You know, I've been reading uh, here and there and uh, hearing some comments. My son, Let's Speak Boxing, has given me a comment. Clyde, he's in Puerto Rico. We were talking this morning. Uh, gave me some comments. And, you know, I, I, I was reading some or hearing something. You know, it's like, this shit is really effed up. It's effed up in the sense, the way I'm looking at things, that tonight there's going to be some boxing going on. You know, obviously that's why I'm making my video. I should have done this video sometime earlier this week. This way, you know, maybe uh, some people could have got some little feedback from me. But obviously, you know, I'm going to make it tonight. I'm going to make it today, right? A couple hours before the goddamn fight, you know? Um, one is that tonight's fight... You're going to have Devonta Tank Davis, is, as we all know, is a uh, a guy that's being brought up by Floyd Mayweather. Now, because he is in Floyd Mayweather's barn, because, and I repeat myself, because he is in the barn, or better said, that Floyd Mayweather is his mentor, they're putting this guy as this guy is going to replace Mayweather in the sense of boxing today. Now, that makes me laugh. That's a bunch of fucking bullshit. You know what? That's a bunch of bullshit. Mayweather's gone. Mayweather's been called now upon by Pacquiao coming back. And we don't know what's going on there. But eventually, I could give a hoot and any fuck about Pacquiao calling out Mayweather. What I don't like is, here's a guy from Baltimore, Maryland. I do not take nothing away from boxers, especially warriors that go into that ring. That's a profession. That's their job. I do understand that. But what happens is, these sports writers, column guys, you know, looking for popularity, they being popular, they talk a lot of shit, man. You know why they talk a lot of shit? How are you going to have a guy like Devonta Tank Davis going to be replacing Mayweather in boxing? Who is this guy for? So, okay, so the guy, the kid is, he's got 20 and, what is it, uh, what's his record? 20 and all, 19 knockouts, knock out a bunch of shoemakers, the best guy that I know that he's fought was a guy from my hometown, my home country, Puerto Rico, Pedraza, who gave Loma a little run for his money for 12 rounds. Excellent boxing night for Pedraza. Stuck to the game plan, you know? And Tech Davis knocked him out. Oh, my God. Wow, whoopee, 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 whoopee. Let's make circles. First of all, this guy's he's been inactive now for what? 18 months, something of that nature. He did the same thing that Thurman, Thurman, you know, Keith one time came back. And he looked a little rusty, you know, but eventually, you know, we knew he was rusty. We knew he was going to be rusty. He was now a guy coming back after 18 months. He was supposed to have fought Abner Mattis, right? And Abner Mattis eventually got an eye injury, you know, and... I hope everything goes well with him, an excellent boxer. Now, that guy's an excellent boxer, okay? That was going to be his challenge for the night. And he was going to give him a run. Abner Mahrez, to me, Tank Davis, mm, he would have knocked him out. You know why? Because Abner Mahrez is one of those guys that he has a different style, I think, from Hugo Ruiz. First of all, Hugo Ruiz is one. He's coming up from the 126 featherweight. He, he's not a super featherweight, a 130-pounder like Tank David. So you replace him with Hugo Ruiz. The only thing good about Hugo Ruiz is that he has more punching power to me, maybe, than Abner Mahrez. The guy's taller, so he's going to have about a 4-inch reach. He has about a 3-inch, I mean, a 3 or 4-inch reach. He's taller in the sense maybe 3 or 4 inches also. And the guy, you know, his record is impressive also. His record is 39, I think, in 30, 39 and 3, something of that nature. But he's not that about 33 guys. But again, who is the fuck is he for? So we, you got a toss-up here, you know. 
A guy, first of all, a guy coming from featherweight, 126 to fight. A guy, Tank Davis, has knocked out barely everybody, knocked out everybody in the 130. So what do we have? We have all this talk and making this guy look great, Tank Davis, against a guy that's not even fought probably in that weight class. He has not fought in that weight class. Oh, my God. And you're making him great because of the fact that he he's a kid that is being taken up and brought up by Floyd Mayweather. Now, remember, he, remember, there was Adrian Brown also that was being brought up by Floyd Mayweather. What happened to him? He got his ass kicked, didn't he? Okay, so, you know, things in boxing are funny. These guys try to create stories and bring up these guys and, and make these guys so fucking great, so good. Don't take nothing wrong away from Tank Davis. That, wow. Come on, man. Let's, let's leave this shit alone, you know? The face of boxing right now is in the Golden Boy promo, uh, Golden Boy barn. His name is Canelo Alvarez, okay? I don't give a fuck about Tank Davis. Tank Davis cannot even tie Canelo Alvarez's shoes. And he better watch out. The Marcus Madonna, I've been hearing, he wants to come back. He might come back, Marcus Madonna, and do what? He might whip his ass like he bought. He, he whipped Adrian Bona's ass. So we might have a repetitive story in boxing like we had with A.B., okay? And, you know, and, but what pisses me off, what pisses me off, and I keep saying this shit, that you got fans out there, fanboys out there, that I truly believe that this guy, because, oh, because Mayweather, man, fuck Mayweather, right? Simple as that. You know, and if Pat, uh, today, I wish he would come back. I would like to see a, uh, uh, a second fight between Pacquiao and Mayweather. I would love to see that shit. Love it, love it, love it. That's another story. That's another video. But let's finish up with this shit. You know, tonight, we're going to see that. We're going to see an A.B. You know, an A.B. to me, even though this guy's taller, he's got a, a, a better reach. If he jabs him, he keeps jabbing him. Who knows? This guy might could last 12 rounds of boxing. We never know. But again, I it's please do not build this guy up. Do not build some guy up, some clown that is 20-0 with 19 knockouts, ain't fought nobody. And you want to make this guy, wow, the next Mayweather boxing. I dislike Mayweather, but you know what? No, no. It's going to take a while before somebody goes and replaces Mayweather. I already mentioned one guy. His name is Saul Canelo Alvarez. If Canelo Alvarez would learn how to speak English, that's my suggestion to his camp and to him, how to talk to the people, the American public in boxing in the world, guess what? He'd be a big face of boxing. Yes, because the guy is one bad dude. Okay? Don't be telling me about this guy who's probably just as dumb as Adrian Broner. He can't put words together to make a, a sentence. <laughs> a sentence. And, and you're going to make him the face of boxing. Look, Mayweather... Smart show businessman. He is intelligent. Mayweather's no dummy. But please, Mayweather, or anybody who's writing stories in Boston, do not take this dude to say that he could be the next Mayweather in boxing. All right? See y'all later. Take it easy. And watch the fight. There shouldn't be no prediction in that. There shouldn't be any sort of what problems with Tank Davis fighting a guy from 126 to 130 when he fought nobody. Probably another KO. Good night to you guys. Later.